Attorney General William Barr is under scrutiny today after the Justice Department abruptly dropped its criminal case against Michael Flynn. He was President Trump's first national security advisor. The retired general admitted lying to the FBI during the Russia investigation, then renounced his guilty plea before he was sentenced. Barr explained his decision in an exclusive interview with senior investigative correspondent, that's Catherine Herridge. What should Americans take away from your actions in the Flynn case today? I was concerned that people were feeling there were two standards of justice in this country and that the political uh, and, and, and that the justice uh, or the law enforcement process was being used to play political games. Based on new evidence, the Justice Department said the former National Security Advisor's 2017 FBI interview was unjustified and done without any legitimate investigative basis. Just a month into his administration, President Trump said he fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn for lying to Vice President Pence about his conversations with then Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak following the 2016 election. Later in December 2017, Flynn pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his conversations with the ambassador during the presidential transition. Flynn has since tried to withdraw his guilty plea. Does the fact remain that he lied? Well, you know, people sometimes plead to things uh, that turn out not to be crimes. Newly unsealed documents show in early 2017 the FBI was going to close its investigation of Flynn, citing a lack of derogatory information. Then a senior FBI agent suddenly intervened. They kept it open for the express purpose of trying to catch uh, lay, lay a perjury trap for General Flynn. The reversal comes after multiple public statements from President Trump, who has said Flynn was treated unfairly. He was targeted by the Obama administration. Former FBI Director James Comey, fired by President Trump for his handling of the Russia case, tweeted Thursday, the Justice Department has lost its way, a charge echoed by Democrats. The president has his attorney general, the hand of the president, doing the, his political work, his personal bidding. Barr told CBS News he didn't discuss the decision with President Trump. Are you doing the president's bidding in General Flynn's case? No, I'm doing the law's bidding. Uh, I'm doing my duty under the law as I see it. When history looks back on this decision, how do you think it will be written? Well, history is written by the winner, so it largely depends on... on <laughs> Uh, who's writing the history, but I think a fair history would say it was a, it was a good decision because it, it upheld the rule of law, it, helped, it, uh, it upheld the standards of the Department of Justice, and it undid what was an injustice. After the decision, President Trump called Flynn an innocent man, but his fate rests with a federal judge here in Washington, D.C., who could dismiss the case, or according to one CBS News legal expert, call a hearing with all of the parties given the extraordinary circumstances. The attorney general emphasized to CBS News that they continue to investigate other aspects of the FBI Russia probe. Tony? A very interesting turn of events, Catherine. Thank you very much.